Hello and welcome back. This is part of a series where we're building a website from scratch. We've got a fictional construction company called Acme Construction and using Winter CMS to create a custom website for them. We've added a couple of customized features such as an employment page and also a page for projects. Now it's time to add some method of a contact. There's no need to reinvent the wheel. There are a number of plugins out there that already do a fine job of doing this and that's what I'm going to be using for this project. So let's get into it. Okay, so what we're going to do here is move into our dashboard and we're going to install our custom plugin, which is hugely easy in winter. Go into settings and updates and plugins find what we're after it's all reasonably simple stuff manage plugins install themes install plugins and the one I'm going to use is called small forms and here it comes I'm just waiting for that to do its thing there we go done and we'll notice at the top here there is a contact form and in that contact form it's already got a nice little interface that's sort of set up for us with messages form setting we can export our messages and we can even set up our email as well so we'll set up our form and you know thank you You, we'll get get back to you ASAP. Let's invent a new word. Um, I've invented two new words. And hide the form if it's successful. Uh, all you'll display is the message. Leave that as is. Um, enable Ajax. We can turn that on, or we can leave leave it as is. Um, might as well uh, enable the Ajax. Um, send button. We can. I'm just going to make that button primary. Haven't actually got a button primary yet, but um, we'll add that. Fields. We need fields for our forms, so let's add a new one. We need one called for name. It's going to be over type text and give it a label, your name. We can even add custom classes and make them autofocus if we want. Field validation, this is quite a nice little feature with this thing. So add a validation and of course we'll make it required. So yes. Please enter your name. That's probably all we need for that one. Um, we want an email. And of course, that's our top email. Um, and we need some validation for that as well. This is going to be required. can add a second validation to that make sure it's, it is actually of an email type you can respond back to um, yeah, so please enter a valid email address and what other fields do we need we need to add a message one and of course that's going to be of type message and that's going to be a text area 
message and we'll make that compulsory don't want people sending empty empty emails do we we'll make that a custom rule and save that that brings us to the fields mapping we don't actually have anything showing up there so let's hit a refresh and here we go so email will be mapped to the email in their form name will be mapped to the name in their form message will be mapped to the message in the form let's save that anti-spam this is quite nice you can add your own Google recapture in there um, passive passive protection that's kind of a, a, a useful one um, like just anti-spam delays so it'll okay so we'll put in some some delays maybe yes three seconds between you know if people try to send form too frequently um, and we can you know, give them a message and anti-spam delay you know, nice little honeypot if they fill this out um, and don't allow the form to send too many from from one address there's a good maximum delay about that three seconds Yeah, you said enough, come back later. And of course, we can add um, email into this. So, queuing, if you've got your Laravel queue set up, Google Analytics, which is a nice little touch there, and privacy for your um, European law settings. So, that's all that all set up adding it into our website is pretty easy just go over to CMS and we've got a contact page with nothing already nothing there at the moment we can get rid of that and add a contact form component in there you'll see this will turn up here and we need to tell it to run that display that component in the body and it's called contact form isn't it We've done, done all this in the browser so far. And let's have a look and see what we've got. Contact page. That's not working. Why is that? Oh, of course. If I spell the component correctly. There we go. We have a contact form. Let's see if that works. There we go. Thank you. We'll get back to you ASAP. 
well, uh, we'll put another one in for good measure. Um, now, what have we got here in our contact form? We've now got two forms here as well. And if we've got our mail correctly set up, it will also send the send us the emails as well. Let's just have a look over in code and see what we've got here. It, it's added a component here for contact form and contact form is, is here. Add a contact us into there. We can probably pretty this up quite a lot but um, that's not the purpose of this particular video. What I will grab is this stuff here to put into the front page so we'll copy that and go into our home page down to the Here's our contact part here. We don't need this stuff anymore. We just we don't need the, the heading one. This contact form component goes up the top. Let's tidy this up a bit. This needs to go up into here. Put a bit of space up here so we can see what's going on. So that Winter is aware of, of the form. Save that. And let's have a look at our home page. We've now got our contact form in there. I've just added a simple get in touch message here because it's a call to action. We could probably make this look a lot nicer. I'd probably be inclined to add a, some kind of graphic in here to sort of make it look a bit nicer, but that's that's probably for another video. I'll leave it here. I wanted to make this one reasonably small and short. Some of the others have been a bit long lately, and hopefully you've got something out of this, and if you like, um, please leave a like comment or subscribe to the channel and we'll see you in the next one